how to create a pop-up on Elementor for free. Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to be creating a pop-up on our Elementor page on WordPress. So let's get into it. Now, we are going to be doing this for free and you might wonder, hey, if I open up Elementor, so if I take a look at this page that is with Elementor, and we take a look at the features of Elementor, we will actually see that a lot of the features are limited to premium users of Elementor. So how can I create a pop-up? How am I supposed to do that? Well, we're gonna be using a additional plugin that is going to enable us to actually create pop-ups on Elementor. There are several different types of additional plugins available for Elementor if you haven't used them already. These include WooCommerce integration, so you can actually use premium WooCommerce features that are provided by Elementor for free using those add-ons. And those add-ons can really help you in taking your site to the next level because anyone can build a standard site, but it's really, really the elevations that you make to your templates to your standard pages that are going to you know that are going to actually set them apart so if we click on edit over here to open up our page we will see we're gonna wait for this to load up so while our pages are so this is what our current page looks like this has no pop-ups no nothing and we are going to be adding a pop-up now to do this first off you can go ahead and go into your wordpress dashboard and in your dashboard you're going to go into plugins and then you're going to click on add new plugin once you click on add new plugin you're going to go into this search bar on the top right once you go into this search bar, you're going to search for pop-up for Elementor. And once you search for pop-up for Elementor, you will see several different pop-up filters. And you actually want to use one that is going to be easy to use with Elementor. So you have this one, which is Essential Add-ons for Elementor, which is a Elementor add-on, which allows you to add things like, you know, data tables, event calendars, and much, much more. You can actually get a more detailed list of all of the features of this. So you guys can see it has a bunch of different templates. It has multiple different features that it allows you to create. And pop-up forms are one of these. But the one app that I actually prefer is the pop-up builder. This one I really like because it's just simpler to use. It's just better to use. So I'm going to click on install over here. And once I click on install, our plugin is currently being installed and it doesn't take too long. It's being installed so I can click on installed plugins over here. And this is my pop-up builder and I will click on activate over here to activate our pop-up plugin. Now, once we click on activate, it's time to actually set this up and get started with building our pop-up. Now, your pop-ups can range anywhere from building a newsletter subscription pop-up to sale announcement pop-ups. There really is no limit to the type of pop-up that you are looking to build. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on pop-up builder on the top left. And once you do that, you can click on all pop-ups. Now, once you click on all pop-ups, it will display any of the pop-ups you've created. Click on add new over here and once you click on add new, you can get started with your own customized pop-up builder. Now you can add this in multiple different ways. Either you can do image ones, HTML, Facebook, subscription. I would like to do an image based pop-up and I'm just going to click on the image over here to proceed with our pop-up. You guys can see there are some other pro extensions available that can help you in adding different types of optimizations into your pop-ups, including ad blocks and other features. So this is going to be our discount announcement. And then we are going to scroll down and we can choose different options. So firstly, we are going to go ahead and go into our main settings. And first off, you have your image settings. You're going to click on your image and you can choose a picture and you can click on this icon over here to select a picture. You can even upload one. I'll just click on this photo over here and then click on add. 
Once this is added, I can add display rules as well if I want this to be displayed only on certain posts or everywhere or only on certain Elementor pages. I want this to be displayed everywhere, so on all pages, whether those be Elementor pages, my blog post pages, then we can also add events. So this is going to be when should this pop up appear. So I want this to appear on loading and I can also add a delay. I don't want a delay. You can also do geo-targeting and advanced targeting and you can also select a specific event. So that will trigger this particular pop-up. So contact form submission or anything else. Then you can also choose your design so you can add a pop-up overlay. You can also choose different themes for the appearance of your pop-up. And then you have closing. So if you want to enable your viewers to be able to close your pop-up on the exit key on the close button you can add a button delay and the button position now the button position is on the bottom right and you can choose that to be on the bottom left or right you can choose the placement as well as the button image and the height and width now below that you also have the dimensions so if you want the size to be automatically determined based upon the image that you uploaded However, you can also opt for a custom mode where you can set your own height or width of the image. Then you also had advanced options. So you can add a action on pop-up content click, pop-up showing limitation, any sound effects that you might want to add. So this is the default sound effect. And I don't like this, so I'm gonna turn this off. You can even add animations. You'll see there are a few different types of animations. Let's say the flip one, so the flip one, this is the shake one, this is the wobble one this is the flash one i think i'm gonna go with the flip one like this and then we have the speed as well we can add a closing animation as well i think i'm not gonna add a opening animation i'll add a closing animation of the shake wobble flash bounce or bounce out i think i'm gonna go with the bounce out and one second animations are fine you can also disable paid scrolling when the pop-up has appeared on the screen we can also add a floating button and we can add button info. We can add a particular text to this. So sale, our sale is life, our sale is live like this. And this will appear on the bottom right or you can choose the placement on the top right, bottom left. I like it on the bottom right like this. Then you can also customize the colors. Then you can also do your statistics to help you in seeing the pop-up count, so how many views your pop-up is getting, and then customization with CSRJS code. Now, I do recommend when you are using images, you can display whatever info you want directly on the image and then upload it. You can easily make those edits using a tool like Canva or Adobe. Once completed, click on publish on the top right. And once you click on publish, your pop-up is now live on your site. You can click on preview over here to see any of your changes present. So if I go on to a page on my own site, I should be able to view my pop-up. Now your pop-up might appear, might not appear until a couple of seconds. So you do have to wait for your pop-up to actually start working. and make sure that you are you know testing out your pop-up and you can see your stats the number of views all of the information regarding your pop-up when you have created it so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe